One of the things I want to talk about, though, there is a difference between EPTZ and virtual PTZ. Now, EPTZ means you're doing it with electronics that's embedded in the camera, whereas virtual PTZ means the software is doing it, your software engine or an app. And one of the things about that is, is it kind of takes a lot of horsepower to do that. So if you're doing virtual PTZ on a TriCaster or vMix or Wirecast, you're going to be giving up, you're going to be taking a lot of that CPU, GPU to do it. So that's one of the advantages of EPTZ because it's in the camera. Now, Paul, take it away and tell us about the two, well, it's actually four, two new EPTZ cameras four. that have two different flavors. So tell us about it. Let's take Paul full screen. You can show us the cameras if you have them there too. Well, I do, and I'll do you one better. This is the camera right here. So this camera is going to do so well in some of the markets that we talked about, Gary, including uh, schools, mm -hmm. right, and, and distance learning. So here's the camera right here. This is the camera that's right in front of me. So it's a great camera. Uh, it's tiny, and this got this wide field of view, right, really wide field of view, but I can go in here, and I can zoom in and really make it look, you know, super high quality video where I can make presentations and I can do camera presets. So let me set up our, we have two of these cameras, three, four of these cameras, right? Of course so we you have, do. We have, okay, so we've got two webcam versions. So there's a USB and an NDI version of these webcams. So this is the NDI version. It's power over ethernet. It's 4K video output. And the camera I'm using right now is the camera with I have one too, uh, Paul. NDI. Mine's He's not hooked up. Too. But I want to stress these also have HDMI output because you, you kind of glossed over that. So it's USB and HDMI or it's USB, HDMI, and NDI, correct? That is right. So super high quality cameras. And just really quickly, I'll show you here. So I'll set a preset. All right, so I've got a preset there. I'll zoom over. It looks like I've got a PTZ camera here, right? Yeah. And that's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to. It, it, this is what. This is the difference between virtual PTZ and electronic. This is actual. It looks and feels like a PTZ. But take a look at this. Snaps right to where you want it, and you have the ability to kind of decide how you want to do it's that. It's the illusion of having multiple cameras. It's like having a switcher. Now, we wanted to take it a, sw a step further, Gary, and we wanted to have a camera that had, gave you both, okay? So with this camera is the PTZ optics version of this. And generally, for folks who are watching, you know, Huddle Cam is the plug and play, USB. We got, we're using a little NDI here, but no brainer. This is plug and play for the teacher who's just starting their first year of distance learning. But for the professionals out there, we have our new Z cams that are um, have EPTZ in them. These have two SDI outputs, so you can have your cake and eat it too. One of the SDI outputs is the full wide angle, 104 degree field wide angle. The other output is your EPTZ. So now we're playing e now we're playing with 4K EPTZ in the world of SDI switchers. Plus, we have an NDI version of this as well. Very, very cool, Paul. We're so excited about those. And